I did a video about uh, title. Have you opened your eyes and looked at life? And someone very kindly wrote to me and said, uh, Sharon, life is short. Get a life and enjoy. Absolutely, which I have been explaining how to do it with a great ambition and great responsibility. Otherwise, we get locked in. Otherwise, we get trapped. Otherwise, we'll fall, just like what happened to my mobile phone just now. <laughs> I thank for everyone who's uh, giving some upward feedback for me to get a life. So I've been explaining and asking people to focus on life and pay attention to life. You don't have to get a life. You've been given one and it is entirely in your hand. Why let it go? It's great that you realize that the life is short. It's not short when you blink and you're joyful enough and you're ecstatic and vibrant and pleasant enough. The short is not what you have to express that the life is value of. Life is so brief. As soon as you blink, it's gone because you've had a life that is so exuberant and fantastic. I never had to get a life. I was life and I will remain to be a life. And with that, <laughs> I bow down to your kind of thoughtful, kind words that you have written. And uh, thank you for your valuable time. More importantly, don't fall. Just like, don't slip away. The life is just ticking away. You, I, no one here on this earth nor the earth, earth itself has any way to hold back on time. The time that we've invented in our minds is slipping away from our minds and our, and our life itself is slipping away. It's thank, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this video for you, whoever you are, I'm sure you have got life and that you are enjoying it to the fullest. More importantly, that you are pleasant and you are exuberant enough with your life energies. That even if you sit around, talk about plastic or rubbish or talk about coronavirus or talk about whatever you wish to, on this planet that we have been talking about, no matter what and how you do, make sure that you have lived a profound and an incredible life. The life that is short, you mustn't think of. Life that is given to you must be in your two hands. What is up here is not life. What is up here is a psychological drama that is squashing, that is squeezing, that is getting you to asking you to find and get a life to live and enjoy. No, I'm always absolutely pleasant in my experience of life and joyful in my experience of life and I'm fully ecstatic with life and life all around me and I invite everyone else to do the same yet these days the life depends on how careful you speak how careful you sneeze how careful you breathe out and breathe in 
And that is the life that you need to preserve before you enjoy. Make sure that your breath doesn't engulf somebody else's life. And yet your breath is so gentle enough that it doesn't spray out and cause their life to be a short one. Make sure that your life and their life and everyone else's life is reminded as a brief one, yet to be a great one when you are joyful and responsible and conscious. I thank you once again for your kind words and valued time. Bow down to you as well, more importantly. Thank you for reminding me to get a life which I have always been in life. Never run a, another world of life in my head. I just act what is needed for today. And I got myself uneducated in every possible way so that I can be enjoying the life that I am throbbing. Exhalation, you're dead. Inhalation, you're alive again. Enjoy that inhalation and exhalation. And that's what is called life. You don't need to get a life. It's given to you. Try to enjoy it.